Hey beautiful ladies, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I have a wig review from uh, I have a wig review for you from Bobby Boss. Um, this is Eugenia. And I've got her in the color, oh <laughs> TFS 1B slash 118. They be killing me with they color names. <laughs> Bobby Boss. Okay. So let me get her out of the package. I want to thank you guys for tuning in with me. All this trash out of the way. I don't know why. Well, I understand why they package it the way they do, but geez. Okay. Okay. So this is a better view of the stock car. Oh, she's long. So, ooh, this is like a 99J type setup, color setup here. So, oh, wow. Girl, I thought I was going to open this package and there was going to be some uh, lace front. It is not a lace front. It is an actual, I guess I should read before I buy things, right? <laughs> it is a lace part wig. So, um, yeah, there's no lace to cut. It's just here in the part. Okay, so let's see how this works. This should be very, very easy. <laughs> Let me take this one off, get this one off. All right, so this is um, her straight on my head here. Oh, uh, lost my wig brush. Okay, so this is Eugenia by Bobby Boss. I'm gonna I'm gonna brush this out. Okay, so no lace front. This is just a lace part. Um, and I think what I'm seeing sticking out here is some baby hairs to lay down. So let me put this back. I need to find a table to put stuff on, like, recently moved into our new home over the summer and I'm still trying to figure out how to set things up <laughs> for when I do these wig reviews. You got some baby hairs here. I don't really, number one, uh, I like this because I thought it was a lace front, which is what made me buy it. I usually don't like middle part wigs, but if they're straight, um, I tolerate them better. They look better on me when they're, you know, just straight. So that, and I liked the color. So that is why I got it. Um, I usually do not do baby hairs with middle part wigs, but um, um, let me try it out this time. Okay, so let's see here. So the thing I be hating about um, just lace part wigs is they have like, you can see the line of demarcation where the um, lace starts and then they kind of fold the lace right here and, and stitch it um, at the edge here and it makes it thicker so it's hard to hide it. So um, let's see how I do. <laughs> I think when I first started wearing wigs, I started out wearing these and then I was like, mm, they don't look natural at all. Like the part and Uh, I went to wearing lace fronts, even though these are easier to style. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, we got this this line of demarcation here. Let's see if I can look. I cut these a little bit. I just took this little eyebrow thing to um, make these little baby hairs shorter. I'm just trying to do a little swoopy doop action here in the middle. So this definitely does not lay flat like on the stock card. 
like on the stock card. I feel like it's so sleek looking on the model. And granted, my hair, well, my real hair is pulled back into a pony. It's slicked back in a ponytail. Let me see if I can get this to lay any flatter. Um, I'm not even really feeling this little baby hair right here. Try coloring it the party and maybe that'll help. Um, okay, the part looks better with the powder. Let's see. Um, yeah, I'm just not. I'm gonna go get my hot comb and try to lay, try to see if I can get this flat and see if that makes it look better to me because it's just. Like this side is raised. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that. Okay, be right back. All right, got a hot comb. Let's see. This is from the actual cap. It's like it's feel something sticking right here. I do not like this cap. <laughs> I think one of my lashes is, no, they're not. I thought one of my lashes was about to give up the ghost. Okay, so I got it laying, laying a little more flat. Yeah, these little baby hairs gonna have to go. I tried it, don't like it. I think I'm gonna pluck these out. Let's do that. Let me try to pluck these out. Okay, so off camera, I went in my uh, bathroom where I can see a little bit better, and I plucked those, some, you know, most of them hairs out. Yeah, this is what it's looking like now, which you can still see a line of demarcation here. <laughs> so I'm gonna, uh, like, cut a little V. Okay, so I cut a V, very tiny, and I used um, these little, they're like eyelash scissors really, but I use them when I need to cut small areas. <laughs> it looks a little bit better with the V, and that's because they have that lace, and I should have showed you guys, they have that lace in the part where I guess when they get to the end, they fold it, and so it's like double, it's like thicker, so they fold it and stitch it, and it just, yeah, it creates a clear line of demarcation. This looks a little bit, this looks a, a lot better actually. So that is what I did, and even if you want, um, you can take a dot of glue right here and bring out some of your own hair and try to make it look more natural. I'm over it, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I've done too much already. Uh, but I love, okay, so let's talk about this wig. This little wig done kinda gave me the blues, okay. <laughs> okay, so this is from Bobby Boss. This is their Miss Origin Designer Mix is what it says. It's a lace part wig says that on the side card I didn't pay attention I thought I was gonna get a lace front a lace part wig with um, human hair blend so this is human hair blend that we're working with here so as you can see while we're on that subject I'm putting my fingers through it I'm not really getting any tangling so I don't know how long that'll be for but we gonna rock with it for now. There's not a lot of, there's no tangling. There is some shedding going on, not a whole lot. Made with HD transparent lace. I don't see where it really makes the difference anyway because it's not a lace front. <laughs> it's a four inch part. So as you can see here, and I'll let you, hopefully you guys can see the part a little bit better. And I cut that V to make it look more natural. So yeah, I'm, I'm really, this is what made me buy the wig in the first place. This color is really, really pretty. Do you see that? Oh my gosh. That is a really pretty color. They could have called this something else. They could have called this, I don't know, um, anything other than 
TFS1B slash 118 is the color. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they could have creatively came up with a different name for this color. So it has like um, what I think they call piano highlights. So you have like dark and then it goes red and dark and red. This is the, my favorite part of this wig. I mean, it's good, it's throw on and go, and I got it together now, but it took some work to get there. And of course, we had some humpiness and some unevenness with, you know, since it's a middle part wig, you want everything to lay evenly. You don't want this side higher than the other. Took my hot comb and kind of got that to lay flat and got that together. I mean, it's pretty, it's a cute little throw on and go, or even a hat wig, you know. I'm gonna spray it with this spray just cause it's kind of, uh, look like it might tangle a little bit in the back not like tangle tangle like you can't put your fingers through it but the hair is kind of bunching up so I'm just gonna comb this or brush this through and hopefully that will keep it from doing that because as you can see this wig brush is sliding right through it <laughs> it's just when you go to move the hair it kind of uh it does its own thing here so yeah it's pretty long it doesn't say how long it actually is if i had to guess um so it's probably if i had to guess i don't know about maybe about 30 32 inches maybe of, of close to 30 somewhere in there so it's pretty long not too long it actually looks longer on them it's longer the model must be shorter it's longer on her on the stock card but yeah so i like this wig i meant, didn't mean to make this review this long but i you know had to get it right <laughs> so yeah I'll, I'll wear this as a cute little throw on and go and if you want to you can even it's got contouring why do I do this with my earrings? I love hoops, but well, all the time. Okay, it's even got some contouring around the ear. So I love that. It makes it look more natural, even for a lace part wig. I love the contouring around the ear. I always have that problem with lace fronts. I wish they all had contouring around the ear. Because, yeah, otherwise it's, the whole wig is sitting on top of my ear. I don't have that problem with this one. If you wanted to, since they did make it like that, um, if you wanted to, you could bring out some of your own natural hair and um, just kind of tuck this back behind your ear like that, boom, and wear it that way. Or you can take a little hair clip. That's if you can get you, you know, some hair here to make it look more natural. But you, you can even, you know, don't even do that. Just take a clip and take a couple of sections and put a, a like a hair clip back here it's really versatile I think once you get this laid down you know do something with this right here it, it's a cool wig I can't even remember how much I paid for it let me see okay so I looked it up for you guys and I paid about $35 for this wig which Maybe that's why I thought it was a lace front because you pay in lace front prices. But I guess because it's a human hair blend, maybe it was higher, but yeah. It, this is a pretty wig. I'm gonna have to, let's come up with some color names for this. Some names for this color, because we not gonna rock with this. Because we not gonna rock with TFS1B slash 118. Let's, what can we call this? Berry Crush. That's the first thing that came to. They could even get Berry Crush because that's what this <laughs> this is. It's like a raspberry color. I love it. Again, pick Miss Eugenia up by Bobby Boss. Human hair blend, lace part, not lace front, lace part wig. If you have enjoyed this longer than it needed to be wig review, please hit the like and subscribe button. Be sure to leave comments, questions, concerns, whatever. And as always, if you don't protect anything else, protect your peace, stay prayerful, stay positive, and I hope to see you back here next time. Thank you so much for watching.